Hey friends, I'm so glad you're here. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome! My name is Maddie. I'm a second year kindergarten teacher in Florida. Before you start watching my classroom setup series, I wanted to give a little bit of an update on my plans for this year and a little bit of context to what you'll see in today's video. Over the summer, my district decided that families would have two options. They could either return full-time brick and mortar in the fall or they could return fully digitally and the digital option mirrors the brick and mortar schedule it's teachers from their assigned school and that sort of thing and so in mid-july my principal asked if i would be the virtual teacher for kindergarten for my school it felt kind of like a divine opportunity because i was going to seek that option out if he didn't ask me but he did and i'm really thankful for that and so I've had in my mind for a while now that that's what I was going to do and so I've been able to plan a little bit. So the thing that was a little bit unexpected was that I had to move classrooms and looking back on it I fully understand and appreciate the reasoning of why I did have to move classrooms essentially because I will be in Zoom meetings all day with my kids. My room from last year had at least one door on all four walls and so it was always kind of people were coming in and out and there was just a lot of traffic in my room and so he was afraid about possible interruptions to my live lessons. Having classrooms that had students in them and teachers live in person on both sides of me. But there's another room kind of close to where I was before with less doors and therefore less possible interruptions. The day that I found out that I had to move classrooms was on a Tuesday and we found out around 10.30 that morning our room assignments for this upcoming year and the first year teacher that was coming into my room from last year was coming in, I knew already around 12 or 12.30 to set up her stuff. We didn't know what room she was gonna be in, but I knew that she was coming that day to set up. And so once I found out that she was going to be in my old room, I wanted to get my things out of there as quickly as possible because she needed a place to put her things. And I had to move my stuff anyway, so it just made sense to leave immediately from my house and start moving my stuff out so that she would have a place for her things. So all of the footage that you're watching in today's video was filmed in the span of like an hour and a half to two hours. And so I got to school at like 10.45 on that Tuesday morning. And luckily, as you saw if you watched my classroom cleanup videos from last year, there's two of those and I'll link them in the description box. But I packed up my whole room pretty nicely back in May. And so unbeknownst to me at the time, it made moving my stuff a whole lot easier. So looking back, another blessing in disguise and I'm really thankful. So there was not a ton that I had to pack up. I just had to move it to the new room. And so today's video is a lot of time-lapse clips of me kind of moving the things from my old room, taking them to my new room and setting them in my new room. So you'll get to see a pan of my empty new room, a pan of my full and then empty old room if that makes sense, um, and then me moving things in the process. So today is a lot of time-lapse clips, but you all have told me that you love time-lapse, and personally, I love them too because they're just really fun to watch back and watch progress happen so fast. So that's why today's video is mostly time-lapse, and I'm not really sitting and talking at all because it all happened very fast. So I hope that you enjoy watching the footage that I did get. Like I said, at the time, I honestly wasn't too happy that I had to move rooms just because I grew to really love my room. But now looking ahead, I think that this is a good opportunity and situation and I feel really thankful for it. So I hope you enjoy watching Classroom Setup Year 2, Day 1. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is similar to how I ended my last classroom cleanup video, um, but now it's the start of classroom setup. And this is the last view with my classroom from this past year before I start moving my stuff to my new room.
right, all my stuff is moved into my new classroom. Um, I still have a lot of stuff in my closet shelf space, but we're gonna worry about that another day. Um, I just needed to get my stuff out of my actual classroom so that the new first year teacher that's coming in could move in there. So I'll give you kind of a quick sweep of the room and then I'm gonna start wiping down the shelves and stuff so that I can start putting stuff on them. some of the material the student materials here that I won't be needing right now so like the Legos and just other play materials and then I wiped out all of these containers and I'm excited about these because I only had one set of these in my old room so I'm excited to have two things of storage I'm going to put all these things in there tomorrow um, I just want to organize them neatly and then these are still full of stuff but we'll deal with that later um, and then I've got these computer tables that are really nice and on wheels. So I'm loving that. I'm excited about that. Um, and then my stuff is just all the rest of the place. Um, but I have two bulletin boards now and I did not have any in my previous room. So I'm excited for that. And my current thought is that I can make like a reading background and a math background so that the kids aren't just looking at the same background all day. So yeah, lots of stuff to sort through, um, but I'm not overwhelmed by it really at all, um, and everything is kind of sorted already. Um, when I brought it in, so like I put all my paper here, I put desk type things here, kind of, um, yeah, and then you guys saw, but I moved the bookshelves over a little bit, and then they're bringing me a filing cabinet here tomorrow morning, and then I'm not quite sure my configuration yet on the desk and kidney table situation they're gonna go over here in some fashion but I moved the computer as well because there's another hookup over there and I'm not sure that these are gonna stay where they are this is going home so sad and so is this um but I don't know about this yet we'll see um but yeah this was a pretty productive first day Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed getting to watch me be productive and a little stressed, but mostly productive and get a lot done. I have already edited days two and three of classroom setup, so those will be coming out in the next few days. If you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I release my next video. And I would love for you to come join my little Instagram family. I am way more active on Instagram every day than I am on here, so I would love for you to come on over if you have not already. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! That blooper of my camera falling at the end was just too funny not to include, so you're welcome. Thanks again for watching.